Okay then. So today we're going to learn all about Parliament. So we are going to, uh, we will smell the Queen's favourite smell. Uh, we will look inside the building. Um, we will uh, hear and listen to how rules are made. So we've got the, the pictures for you, we've got the PowerPoint, and each time we move on, we're going to play a sound for you so you know that we're going to move the next slide on. So that sound sounds like this. So every time I move the slide on, you will hear that sound. Just like now. Oh, it's done it. It oh, yeah. won't stop. <laughs> so... This building then is the Houses of Parliament. Has anyone seen this building before? Hands up if you've seen it on TV. Yeah. Have you ever been there as well? Has anybody been there? No? Mm -hmm. We've seen it on TV but not been there. Yeah, it is quite a famous building, isn't it? Uh, particularly the clock. So the clock is very famous. It rings on the hour. Um, so now we're going to take a listen to the bells inside the tower. Have you heard that sound before? Have you heard the bells before? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hands up, anyone who's heard bells? Yeah. They're quite famous. They're, everyone knows the chimes of Big Ben. So inside Parliament are the places where people talk and make laws. For the good of us, the people, of course. Uh, so laws are like school rules that we all must obey. So yes. now we'll go inside and find out who works here without delay. Now we've got a part of our poem that we'd like you to join in with. So we'll hear this a lot. We're going to repeat it as it goes through. So I'll say it first and then we'll see if we can say it again all together. So Parliament is for me and you. They make laws and hear our voices too. So we'll try that together. Parliament is for me and you. They make laws and hear our voices too. Excellent. Fantastic. So we're going to move on to our next slide. So we'll hear that noise again to tell us that we're moving. And now our next slide is inside Parliament. So we're now inside Parliament in Westminster Hall. Westminster Hall was built long before you and me. Now show us your designs. Go on, let us see. So last week I saw some of your models, some of your pictures, but I know that not everybody was there. So if you have any pictures you'd like to show me, or I know some of you have written poems. If you'd like to share your poems, I would love to hear them. We've, we've made a display outside, so I can send you pictures of the display afterwards, but they're all up on the wall. But we have got quite a few Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, we've made. <laughs> we've got quite a few of those. Um, oh, you guys are amazing. That's, see, I'm useless to art. That's incredible. Apparently these are quite fiddly. The LSOs loved doing these, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we started a jubilee in a parliament board outside, so a lot of it's gone gone through there. We've got the poems. Oh, fantastic! That's great. Well, does anybody have a poem that they wrote that they would like to share with us? Um, Charlie's poem is excellent. Mason's not here, so I could read Mason's for you. He's unfortunately not here today. And yeah, he, that would be great. His was. Sorry, I've just broken the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> Was, Not unlike the real thing. Guy Fawkes tried to blow up Parliament. To kill the king was his intent. So now the staff have to check the cellars 
looking for any would-be killers. <laughs> so that's amazing. Ellie. I love that last rhyme. Yeah, Ellie's got one for you as well. Um, are you right to help Ellie with that? Got a bit, wee bit here, Ellie, at the back. You can sign it if you want, Ellie. Um, this one, this one. So this is the one by Ellie, if you've got it. Yeah. Great. Hazards of Parliament. Oh, I, I don't know if you get to that later, do you? But Colin, do you read your poem? Um, we don't. I can answer it now if you'd yes, like. Um, Guy Fawkes. So Guy Fawkes wasn't happy with the king. Um, Guy Fawkes was a Catholic, um, and at that time, you weren't allowed to be Catholic. So he was quite angry about that. And so him and some friends got together and decided that they were going to blow up Parliament so they could build their own, they could build a new one. Thank you. Is that all right, Tag? Has that answered that for you? Yeah. Um, are you okay to hear, Collins? Yeah, absolutely. Colin, you need to stand up. Can you see okay. Colin? He's at the back. Yes, yeah, I can see. The Houses of Parliament have 1,000 rooms. Restaurants, bars, and canteens. Once a year, we all meet to see the Queen. Your mate, your mates will see red and green. We thank the votes for all to see. And this is my, my learner. Red for Liverpool. <laughs> I'm guessing right. A pig. If only Boris had a wig. <laughs> 650 MPs vote for us. The bells ring, they all rush, bringing new laws which are a must. Guy Fawkes was the villain of the piece. King James then searched the palace for the democracy to keep. Well done, That's Colin. It. And Ryan. Fantastic. These are great. So you guys really remembered a lot from last time we spoke, or you guys uh, know a lot. And so uh, we talked about the colours, about the green and the red of the seats. Um, we talked about the MPs and um, how many of them they are. So that's, these are great. I think you should give yourselves a huge round of applause. I think they were brilliant. Excellent. So thank you for sharing those. So let's go back to Westminster Hall that you can see on the screen. So Westminster Hall is very old. Build a big stone bricks. It gets very cold. It's absolutely freezing in there. Um, the hall is special as it survived a, a fire. The room was full of smoke. It must have smelt dire. So we can listen now to what the fire would have sounded like in the hall. Yes, yeah, they, they were. So, excuse me, sorry, frog in my phone. So, um, there, there were quite a lot of people in there. Um, there was a, a lady was actually giving a tour. She was uh, showing people around Parliament when the fire was going on. <laughs> she didn't want to lose her tips. We had a, a fireplace underneath the House of Lords and they put too many sticks on that fireplace and so 
the building caught fire and the, the room that you can see on the screen Westminster Hall was the only room that survived the fire so the rest all gone all, all burnt down that's what I called the Great Fire of London. Oh, I think that might, is that the same thing or is that something different? No, this is the second Great Fire. You can say the Great Fire was in 1666, and this fire was in um, 1832. So it was it was 200 years later. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Hold on for remembering. So. What do you, do you think? Would you, would you want to be on a tour? Would you want to be walking around the building when it was on fire? No, especially no not No way. <laughs> no, ab absolutely not. That sound is enough to put me off. Excellent. So, we can hear our sound from our slide. We're going to move on to our next room. So, we're going to move inside the House of Commons. There are many rooms in Parliament, over 1,000, as Colin told us. It's true. The Green Room is the House of Commons, where people we call MPs work for me and you. So anytime we see green in Parliament, it is to do with the House of Commons. So anything green in Parliament is the House of Commons. <laughs> um, but we have colour-coded the whole building. So the Commons is green. The House of Lords is red. So you know those colours. House of Commons is what colour? Green. 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 Excellent. Mm -hmm. So any time we see green, we know it is to do with the House of Commons. So this is where the people who run our country gather. So the seats here are all made of leather. So we haven't got leather to give you today, but Miss, I know you've got some green fabric around there. Um, maybe if we can pass that around the class and you can imagine what it might be be to sit on those seats in the House of Commons and imagine that you're an MP. Quite similar to the colour as well, so that would be the colour you'd be yeah. sitting on in, if you were an MP in the Commons. And chairs are a bit green, yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah we've still got turquoise chairs here. <laughs> so you're in with the colour scheme, you could all be MPs. It's down for members of Prime. Oh, yeah. Members of? Uh, Okay, what's it, Remember? Um, members of Prime Parliament. Parliament. Oh, Parliament. Well done. Oh, yeah. Parliament. Parliament. Yeah, excellent. Oh, You're yeah. quite members right. Parliament. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, MPs is for members of Parliament. Excellent. Well done. We've got one coming to talk to us um, middle of June. Steve Barclay's going to come and talk to us. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Okay, so you've been able to touch what the seats might feel like. Let's talk some more about the people who work here. So, in the middle here, we have Mr. Speaker. He makes sure that all the MPs behave. If the MPs are rude or misbehave, order, order, he says. So it's his job to keep everybody in control and behaving. So imagine that you are sat in that chair in the House of Commons and we need to get the MPs to behave. So we would say, order, order. So I'm going to count down from three, and then we can say it and at the top of our voices. Three, two, one. Order. 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 I'm going to use that I class. think you could. 
you could do this. It was, I've used it with classes. Yeah. It works. <laughs> but I think the speaker might say it even louder. Should we give it one more try? Three, two, one. Order! 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 Order. Fantastic. Excellent. So that well done, is what the speaker would say to make sure everyone is behaving. So, I forgot it in Westminster Hall. It's time for our poem again. So, if you can join in with me, that would be great. So, Parliament is for me and you. They, they make, make laws, laws and hear our voices, and hear our voices, our voices too. too. Brilliant. So, let's talk more about the House of Commons. So, MPs work here and make decisions. They really are busy, these politicians. When the MPs work, it can get quite loud. So now, we'll listen to the MPs' sound. So when the MPs like something that somebody has said, they say, hear, hear. So, shall we give that a try? I'll count from three again. Three, two, one. Hear, hear. Excellent. Now, if they're not happy, if they don't like something, they will moan. They'll go, um. So, after three... Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. So these are the sounds that our MPs will make. But how do they get their jobs? I hear you ask. Well, they're chosen by the people. It's quite a tough task. <laughs> so time for our poem again. Parliament is for me. And you. They make laws and hear our voices too. Great. So, we have said that the people choose MPs. To show you how that would work, you're going to vote now. So, you have a choice to make. The choice is between broccoli or chocolate. So, you have to pick the one that you like the most. So, you can only choose one. So, if you like broccoli the best, put your hand up. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. If you like chocolate the best, put your hand up. I like chocolate so much. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. So it looked to me that chocolate had won that vote. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Yes, excellent. Yes, chocolate, definitely my favourite too. So you have voted there. You have made a choice for the thing that you liked best. And people choose the MP that they like best as well. So we'll find out more on our next slide. Before we do, Parliament is... <coughs> For me and you. They make laws and hear our voices too. Great, excellent. So we we vote by putting an X in the box next to the, the name of the person we like lots. Get the most votes and you're the winner, you see. 
just like the person who is your MP. Parliament is for me and, and you. you. They make laws. And, and hear our, our voices, voices too. too. Really good with the poem, guys. Really got that now. So, oh, I think I'm. Um, did you say that Steve Barclay was your MP, Miss? Yeah, our, our main campus is in Norfolk, <coughs> but we're actually in Cambridgeshire because that's why we've got a different MP. Okay, because we went with the postcode for your yeah. MP. Yeah, no, that's, that's why we, we, he comes in quite regularly to the main campus. Or the postcode for your school, right. Yeah. Okay, we might just slip over this one then, not to confuse <laughs> issues. Um, okay, so we are now inside the House of Lords. Can anybody remember what colour? I said the House of Lords is red. Red. Excellent. So the red room is called the House of Lords, where uh, people uh, called Lords and Baronesses have their say. Working hard to make our laws each and every day. So just like in the House of Commons, everything we saw to do with the House of Commons was what colour? What colour was the House of Commons? Um, green. 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 Well done. Green. green. Excellent. The House of Lords, any time we see red, then we know that that is to do with the House of Lords. So the House of Lords is really quite grand. All the benches in it are polished by hand. And we have our red benches. So Miss, if you could pass around our red material, and you could imagine that you are sat in the seats in the House of Lords, where they're all red and red leather. Around. Yeah, thank you, Miss. I'll just give it a moment for that to make its way around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ellie's getting quite a stash at the back and holding on to them. <laughs> <laughs> So in the House of Lords, they must dress neat and smart. Sometimes they wear posh robes to really look part. So the red material that you have there, they have robes or capes that they would put on, <laughs> made velvet, so to really look smart. So they do this when the Queen comes to Parliament, and the Queen was meant to come and see Parliament last week, but she sent her son, Prince Charles, instead, because she wasn't very well. So, Parliament is for me and you. They make laws and hear our voices too. So, next slide. The people who work here are experts, you see, chosen because they know lots about things that affect you and me. Uh, things like doctors and transport and how to make our lives better. If people need help, they can write them a letter. So Parliament is for me and you. They make 
Princess, Princess Sasha. Yay. So on her <laughs> on her head, she wears the crown with jewels so bright and shiny. It weighs as much as a big bag of sugar. So definitely not tiny. So Gemma, I know that you have a bag for us. So. If we can pass this around and yes, put it on your head oh, and you'll wow. see how heavy the Queen's crown is. That really hurts your neck. Yeah, no. yeah. 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 We guessed that bit. That was one of the bits we guessed. Yeah. Uh, could you walk around in that all day? No. No, it's heavy, isn't it? It's too heavy for me. There goes Zach, see if you can do it. What do you reckon? <laughs> too heavy. Too heavy? Pass it on to Alex then. It's already heavy when I It's heavy, it. isn't it? Yeah. Imagine, how, how long would she have to have it on for, Karina? Um, well, the speech lasts about 20 minutes, but I think 20 minutes with one of these on your head, I'm struggling. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I think that's, that's a lot, especially when the Queen is 96 years old. That's, yeah. We, we have someone who reckons they can do it. Well, Alex, Alex, stand up, Alex. Alex said that he could do it. He could keep the crown on. <laughs> oh, well, you're, you're yeah, fitter you're than younger, I am, Alex. Alex. Yeah, you're much younger I than would... 96. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't keep that on my head for five minutes. <laughs> Mind you, that was a bag of rice, not a crown, so it wasn't the right size. <laughs> That's surprising how it hurts your neck, isn't it, just after a short time? It, it does. It really does. So, the Queen recently, because that is so heavy, she hasn't been wearing the crown. The crown has its own um, seat and it sits on there. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's just too, too heavy for her, her to wear. What's that lady's name? It's Karina. Karina. You know, like our Karina. Yeah, so another Karina. My Karina is with a C. Yeah. But the other starts with a K. It does. Well signed, Zach. Well done. There's, there's lots of different ways to spell our name. Mm. <laughs> so, has everybody had a chance to... Feel the weight of the Queen's crown. Yes, they have, thank you. Would you like some time? Yeah, okay, that's great. Okay then, so the Queen gets dressed up and she also smells good, you see. Her favourite smell is lavender. 
just oh, like the bees. <laughs> so now we're going to smell what the queen smells like. You've felt how heavy her crown is. And oh, thank you, Gemma. I can see you on the case then. Yeah, don't, don't pass it the queen's yeah. favourite smell is don't, don't lavender. So take a, take a sniff. We've got someone with an allergy, so I'm just going to move Holly out of the way for a minute. <laughs> You could never be queen, Holly. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you could. You'd have your. What's What's your favourite smell, Holly? Um, not sure. Do you like flowers? Chocolate. Or chocolate or perfumes. Garlic. Garlic. <laughs> mm, smells. Garlic. Good. So garlic could be the new royal smell. We had, we had fried onions yesterday, we were making something in the corridor and that, that kind of smelt the college out, didn't it? Yeah, but it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love the smell of onions cooking. You can, you can have a sniff later. Yeah, pass it on, you can have it back later. Uh, do, do we like the lavender in class then? What do you think? Nice smell? Yes, it smells good. Yeah. It smells really good. I don't want to put it on. It's a nice calm smell, isn't it? Yeah. 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 A very light calm. Maybe voice. that's why the Queen likes it. Maybe. When she's had a busy day, it could help relax her. Well, we've got the lavender fields about 20 minutes away from here, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. Because we're in, in <coughs> just obviously near Norfolk, so we've got yeah. Sandringham in the lavender fields just on our doorstep. Ah, ah, right, perfect. I've got some lavender fields about 20 minutes from me, and they're lovely. Yeah, yeah you have to pay to go into mine then. Uh, <laughs> Probably have to pay. We have to pay to buy it, but you can walk round the fields. Okay, I think. Yeah. Everybody have a sniff. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, so we know what the queen, what the queen smells like. Then the queen will read out a list of laws that the prime minister uh, wants to make. Uh, the lords and MPs listen. Then off they go, back to work. Because making laws won't wait. Let's listen to the Queen now, just like the Lords and the MPs do. My Lords and Members of the House of Commons, my government's priority is to deliver a national recovery from the pandemic that makes the United Kingdom stronger, healthier and more prosperous than before. To achieve this, my government will level up opportunities across all parts of the United Kingdom, supporting jobs, businesses and economic growth, and addressing the impact of the pandemic on public services. My government will protect the health of the nation, continuing the vaccination program and providing additional funding to support the NHS. My ministers will bring forward legislation to empower the NHS to innovate and embrace technology. Patients will receive more tailored and preventative care closer to home. <coughs> Measures will be brought forward to support the health and well-being of the nation, including to tackle obesity and improve mental health. Proposals on social care reform will be brought forward. My government will build on the success of the vaccination programme to lead the world in life sciences, pioneering new treatments against diseases like cancer and securing jobs and investment across the country. My ministers will oversee the fastest ever increase in public funding for research and development and pass legislation to establish an advanced research agency. Oh, good. I was trying to stop that clip, but the Queen didn't want to stop. She wanted to carry on talking to you all, clearly. Um, so the Queen comes to Parliament, she talks to Parliament, she reads out the speech, as you've just heard. Because Parliament is for me and you. They make laws. And hear our voices too. So, time for us now to find out 
more about what Parliament does. It's the place that makes laws for me, for you, for everyone. So laws are like school rules that we all must obey. Laws are there to make things fair for everyone every day. We have laws that say you must go to school and laws about litter and plastic. We have thousands of laws all keeping us safe. It really is fantastic. Let's find out now some of the laws that affect you. Remember that Parliament is the place that checks them through and through. So, we have lots of laws in Parliament. Sometimes they look like this. And Miss Gemma, I know you've got a scroll. If we can pass the scroll around so you can see what they'd be like. They could be very long. Mine's got lots of writing on. I don't know if you can see. We wrap them up in a ribbon often. And they don't all get wrapped up in a ribbon. And we also didn't tell me that either. <laughs> so we roll them up so that we can keep them because we have so many laws on so many different things. Now, the laws don't always look like this. Sometimes they will look like this. So like a little booklet. This law that I'm holding up is a really important one. This law says that everybody should be treated the same. Whether you are um, a girl or a boy, whether you are young or old, everybody has to be treated fairly. Do we think that's a good law? Yeah. 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 Do you think that happens in college? Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. So it's a law to make sure everybody is treated fairly. Because Parliament is for me and you. They make laws and hear our voices too. about what you like. I've got three pictures and two of them have sounds with them. So I'll bring those up first. So the first one is schools. Let's see if the sounds will behave this time. So we have school. Next up we have transport. do you think is the most important? So we have schools, transport, and we have hospitals. Yeah. Well, we've got the answers. 
Fantastic. So what have people been saying? We've got six votes for schools, three for transport and six for hospitals. Oh, so schools and hospitals then are, are tight because they are, yeah. they're all important. So I was talking to some uh, students the other day and they said, you need both of those because doctors have to go to school to learn. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're all important. And they have to be able to get there as well though, don't they? Oh. Yes, they do have to be able to get there. <laughs> So these are the kind of decisions that Parliament makes and they have to think about what's best for schools, for transports, for hospitals and lots of other things because Parliament is it's for me, me and, and you, you. They, they make laws. laws. And here are voices too. Oh, no, Big Ben doesn't want to chime again. <laughs> Normally we'd have Big Ben chime in here again, but you've heard it, you'll just have to imagine it. <laughs> so, we're seeing Big Ben, we would have heard it chime and you have seen inside Parliament and know what people here do. We know that MPs are chosen to work in the House of Commons and that they are voted for by me and you. And Lords and Baronesses work in the Red Room. Well done. Uh, the House of Lords. And they're experts, it's true. Mm. Parliament makes laws. Uh, decisions made for everyone to protect us, make things safe, so you can keep having fun. Parliament is for everyone, uh, whether you are young or old. And we hope you have enjoyed this uh, session today because now, our story is told. Remember that Parliament <coughs> is for me and, and you. They, they make, make laws, laws and hear our, our voices too. <coughs> Excellent, well done guys, give yourselves a round of applause. So thank you for coming today. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed hearing uh, to your thoughts and what you guys think. Now, I know that you have some questions for me. So, what questions do we have? Okay. Who founded the Houses of Parliament? Who founded it? Who founded it? Sorry, my headphones just cut out then. Um, well, people aren't really sure because it was a long time ago. Uh, so there's a few ideas. We have the first parliament, some people say, was in the year 1265. And it was a man called Simon de Montfort who came up with the idea. Um, so that's what some people say is the first parliament. The building was built as a royal palace. So it was built by William the Conqueror's son uh, in the 1070s. So the building is really old. Wow. So that's why we're not really sure. <coughs> Thank you. Great question. Sorry, that was a long answer. <laughs> really good question. Oh, you've got a question here? Yeah, um, nice and large. How old is the House of Parliament? I think um, Karina just mentioned that it was 1265 is when the first parliament, but it was in the 1070s, so I can't do the maths on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at maths either. Most of the building that we have today 
um, is Victorian though. Most of the building was built after 1832, after the fire. Great question, Alex. Well done. Uh, Shall I take it? Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Who's currently in charge of the House of Parliament? <coughs> like, who's the boss? Oh, well, we have um, Boris Johnson being the Prime Minister. Yeah. He is in charge of, of running the country. Um, so, I guess you could say he's in charge, but do you think he can do whatever he wants? No. 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 Because all the other MPs and the House of Lords look at his work and they check it to make sure that he's getting uh, the laws right and that people will be happy with them. I have another question to ask you. Go ahead then, Zach. Like... How many TVs does the Queen got? <laughs> <laughs> How many TVs does the Queen have, oh, was that? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Because it's not where the a Queen lot. lives, Zach. It's where all the MPs go, but it's not where the Queen actually lives, so Karina might not know that. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. a really, really interesting I, question. I would guess that because she has lots of palaces and she has people who come and stay with her, it's got to be over a thousand. Over a thousand? I haven't got any! Oh, wow! <laughs> I've got another question. You've got another question? Is it alright, Bella, still another question? Yeah, absolutely. Um, how long does a session in the House of Parliament usually take? Was that how long do the how sessions long, yeah. in the House of Parliament yeah. usually take? Yeah. Um, they, it changes each day. Um, so on Mondays they will work, we call it sitting, but on Mondays they'll um, work from half past two in the afternoon to half past ten at night. Wow. On Tuesdays they'll start at half past eleven in the morning um, and then have an earlier finish, so it changes ev every day. Okay. And the debates, the conversations will take as long as they need to, really. Sometimes they'll talk for hours and hours. Sometimes they say, right, we've got a lot to talk about, so we're only going to give an hour to talk about this thing. So it changes all the time. Great question, Alice. Any more questions? <sighs> nice main ones on there. Yeah, that's all the, the main ones on there. Thanks, Karina. Well, that's great. So thank you for coming today. I will say sorry, my signing's not good. Signing <laughs> so I hope you can follow me. Really impressed with the signing. Yeah. Sasha, you had something you wanted to say, didn't you? Do you want to Sasha just wanted to say something to you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming today. I've really enjoyed this session. Um, Please let us know what you thought. So Gemma, I'm going to send you a feedback form if that's okay. Yeah, because this is, these sessions are very new. So this is the fourth session that we've done. So we're really interested to hear your ideas about how we can make the session even better, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, so yeah, we'd, really, we'd be really interested to hear that. I can't believe that's your fourth one. It's really good. Really, really good. Yeah. I think, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we will definitely. Look, and, right. and it's Friday. It is. So fish have a good weekend, everybody. Go and have your oh, fish and chips. <laughs> yes, yeah, fish and chips. Oh, I'm working from home. I can't, oh, oh I am going to have fish and chips tonight, though. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'll show them off. You'll do what? They're showing out to many of them lives. Help you you're nice. Oh, they should help you because you're nice. And you can put a Oh, thank you. You, you guys are really nice too. You've been very kind. And you put a four, and one for the star. You're a star. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. That was really good. <laughs> yes, come and see us. We'd
we'd love to see you in Parliament. I've been yeah. talking to my boss Excellent. about that, about getting oh, yeah, down yeah. to see you. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. Thank you, Karina. Really, really appreciate you. it. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Bye.